China's sea giant was born. How strong is the Type 815 electronic reconnaissance ship? Why did the U.S. Navy turn around and run away? Let's take a closer look in this video. As one of the countries with more territorial waters in the world, China often has constant friction with Western countries headed by the United States in order to safeguard its own maritime rights and interests. Even in important areas such as China's own naval bases and weapons testing areas, American electronic reconnaissance ships and reconnaissance aircraft are everywhere. This behavior of the U.S. military also made China very helpless at the time. However, this situation did not last long. Because with the continuous development of China's scientific and technological strength, the new multifunctional reconnaissance ship independently developed by China, the 815 type has also been successfully launched. It has very powerful detection capabilities and can be used to defend the country's territorial security from violations. It is also known as the Eye of the Chinese Navy. In the vast Pacific Ocean, no ship can escape its detection. Therefore, whenever the U.S. Navy's aircraft carrier battle group comes to the South China Sea or there is a military exercise, China's Type 815 electronic reconnaissance ship will immediately follow up just to make the Chinese Navy vent its anger. So what is so great about China's Type 815 electronic reconnaissance ship? What special ability can make the powerful U.S. Navy turn around and run away? In recent years, various Chinese ships have emerged in an endless stream. But one type of ship is very special, and it is China's Type 815 electronic reconnaissance ship. Not only is it very large in size, but its functions are also quite alternative. The Type 815 electronic reconnaissance ship can be said to be very critical on certain occasions. For example, when the U.S. Navy patrols the South China Sea or conducts some military exercises, it will usually be present. So what are its specific parameters? The Type 815 electronic reconnaissance ship is a reconnaissance ship independently developed by China. Its shape is very large. The ship is of the long forecastle type, with a forecastle extending all the way to the deck. The advantage of this is that the space inside the ship and the height of the ship shape can be increased, thereby better reducing the obstruction of waves to navigation. Such a structure is also more suitable for ocean voyages. It has a length of 130 meters and a width of 16.4 meters, a maximum draft of 6.5 meters and a full load displacement of 6,000 tons. And another strange feature of the Type 815 electronic reconnaissance ship is that its secrecy is very strict. Although the Chinese naval fleet can operate it, it only has the right to operate it. The current technical reconnaissance system does not even have the right to interfere with the captain. In addition, the reconnaissance ship has another feature that is different from other ships, that is, the shape of the Type 815 reconnaissance ship is different from other hulls, and its original stacked antenna has been modified and upgraded. There are three hemispherical radomes above its hull, and these radomes are very huge. Moreover, the stern of this reconnaissance ship is also equipped with a helicopter lifting platform to enhance its maritime reconnaissance capabilities. In the event of a sudden shipwreck, helicopters or drones can be dispatched to perform maritime search and rescue missions as soon as possible. Its bow also has a special design equipped with a photoelectric theodolite. The photoelectric theodolite can record accurate side angle information at any time, so that a more accurate target position can be superimposed. At the same time, the Type 815 reconnaissance ship is also a destroyer equipped with light missiles and torpedoes. Under normal circumstances, 
The 815 type electronic reconnaissance ship mainly performs offshore reconnaissance missions and collects information and electronic technology for some maritime targets. And in addition to collecting intelligence, the Type 815 can also perform certain assault missions to attack the enemy and protect the safety of the main ships of the Chinese Navy. On the battlefield, the enemy's electronic reconnaissance ship can only be used to find information, while China's Type 815 reconnaissance ship can not only serve as a backup, but also as a forward. It can use electronic signals to conduct reconnaissance and technical analysis of enemy ships, find out where the enemy ships are, and make strategic deployments in advance. And it is also possible to prepare in advance by collecting the enemy's strategic intelligence and then use missiles to strike. In addition, on the basis of the Type 815 reconnaissance ship, China has also developed the latest Type 815A electronic reconnaissance ship. After joining the South China Sea Fleet, this reconnaissance ship began to carry out some reconnaissance nuclear strategic assault work. And the 815A reconnaissance ship is an advanced ship that has attracted much attention. Every time China conducts military exercises, as long as the Type 815A electronic reconnaissance ship appears, it will attract much attention. It can be said that it is a real star equipment. The Type 815A electronic reconnaissance ship can also perform tasks such as electronic surveillance, electromagnetic interference and intelligence analysis, and often has very important advantages in naval warfare. In the process of development, the Chinese Navy has paid special attention to the development of communication and information transmission. Therefore, some of China's electronic reconnaissance equipment and intelligence analysis weapons are often eye-catching. For example, the 815A electronic reconnaissance ship can temporarily take over part of the wireless communication radar information during special periods and can also perform tasks such as measuring and tracking missile trajectories. It is precisely because of its extremely strong intelligence collection capabilities that the Type 815A electronic reconnaissance ship has the title of Maritime Intelligence Officer, which is very advantageous in naval battles. Although the Type 815A electronic reconnaissance ship seldom appears alone, its reputation has already spread abroad. The fleets of many countries are afraid of it, and they often choose to avoid it when they encounter it. So how powerful is the 815A electronic reconnaissance ship? According to the Japanese media's earlier disclosure, during the U.S. and Japan West Pacific military exercise, Due to fear of the 815A electronic reconnaissance ship that had been onlookers for many days, the two sides finally cancelled a number of joint exercise subjects. It can be seen how much the United States and Japan attach importance to China's electronic reconnaissance ships. According to U.S. and Japanese equipment experts, China's advanced electronic reconnaissance ship is developing at a rare construction speed. In the future, its overall equipment scale will be comparable to that of the world-leading U.S. Navy and may even surpass it. Its strategic significance is more important than China's 0.55 million tons guided missile destroyer. In addition, the 815A electronic reconnaissance ship can reach a speed of 21 knots after being equipped with the latest oil-electric, dual-axis and dual-rudder propulsion system. When it goes to sea to perform missions, its battery life can reach an astonishing 50 days. Compared with ordinary ships, its advantages in speed and battery life can be said to be very obvious. The long-lasting endurance can allow the Type 815A electronic reconnaissance ship to sail farther and detect more information. The superior navigation speed can improve its survival rate in wartime, 
and the electronic reconnaissance ship can often play a greater role in cooperation with other ships, or it will become a common combat method on the future battlefield. The capability of the Type 815A electronic reconnaissance ship is already very prominent. With the continuous development of domestic technology, it will be even stronger in terms of reconnaissance capability and performance in the future. It can be said that just a reconnaissance ship has made many people realize that China's technological strength is not inferior to that of the West and even better in many aspects. It is no wonder that the United States is so afraid of China and regards China as its biggest competitor. Because China's rapid development has brought a lot of pressure to the United States. It is becoming more and more difficult for the United States to maintain its advantage. In fact, there are not many countries in the world that can independently develop electronic reconnaissance ships and complete combat missions against the enemy, only China, the United States, France, and Germany. Moreover, Chinese military experts believe that if the Navy does not have electronic reconnaissance ships, it is equivalent to losing both eyes and seeing nothing on the sea. Although the number of China's reconnaissance ships is not large today, it is certain that China's maritime power has been greatly improved. Reconnaissance ships also play a huge role in naval missions, serving as the eyes of the Chinese Navy to escort the development of the country. With the advancement of science and technology, China has developed various types of warships making the comprehensive strength of the Chinese Navy in the forefront of the world, and China's national defense strength has also been greatly improved. Especially in recent years, most of the wars in various countries have been dominated by information warfare. Then the strength of China's Type 815 reconnaissance ship is reflected in the speed of its reconnaissance information and the ability to transmit interference information are at the top level. It makes the Chinese Navy invincible in information warfare. It is like a giant sea beast protecting the safety of China's waters. In the future, China will conduct offshore operations more frequently and for longer periods of time. Because China's development can't just stay in the offshore area, but also needs to go to the farther sea area. After all, the ocean area accounts for 71% of the entire Earth, and there are a lot of undeveloped ocean resources. The scope of the Navy's normalized electronic information acquisition also needs to be extended to the Pacific Ocean and the Indian Ocean, and even further sea areas related to China's interests. Faster development is needed to bring greater benefits. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.